I mean, I had dreams and visions of being good at swimming. They just were unrealized. Look, I've never been what you would call traditionally athletic. Non-traditionally athletic. I'm not that either. I've just never been good at sports. I have tried. Not always because I wanted to. You know, I think my mama put me in sports when I was a kid because maybe she thought it would make, help me make friends. That didn't happen because when you suck at sports, don't nobody want to be your friend. This has happened, okay? I was on the mound, Little League, bottom of the ninth, last batter. You know, it's like the moment where to be a hero. The tying run is on third. I strike out looking, okay? All my sports stories are just stories of abject failure. But my favorite one is about the time I joined the swim team. I was on the swim team in fifth grade. What y'all know about fifth grader confidence? I don't know anything about that. I'm sure there were people in fifth grade who were rolling in confidence. I was not one of them. Why did I do swim team? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I can't imagine it was something I wanted to do. I just remember for a while I could go and swim and practice at the pool, but then when school started, I had to ride my bike to school when it was dark, you know, and get there, do my swim team practice, then I went back home on my bike and changed and then went to school regular. That was not a good experience. I remember all of a sudden my clothes stopped fitting which I guess means I was in really good shape for a fifth grader. But I gotta tell you, I didn't know that I was not in good shape before. I'm not gonna talk too much about the Speedos. I'm not gonna really get in too much to these bright green spandex. It was confident times, let me tell you, uh, just rolling up there. I just remember I wasn't the worst one because there was another kid on my team who wore the Speedo under some regular uh, like board shorts. And they actually, they looked super big for him. It looked like it maybe it was his dad's bathing suit over his speedo, he would get into the water, take off the baggy ones, take them out, so he was underwater in the speedo, and then he wouldn't get out of the water after the race until he had put the baggy ones back on. And let me just say, no shade, I feel you. If I could have done that, I would have, but I didn't even think of it. So I was just out there, bright green. It is what it is, okay? So that, that's just, that's not even the thing though. The thing is, Swimming's hard. What, what do y'all know about swim team? Y'all seen the Olympics, all right? We got four strokes. We got freestyle. We got breaststroke. We got backstroke. And we got butterfly. If they call them something different now, I don't know. That's what they were when I was in the swim team in fifth grade. This is a long time ago. I think they're still called the same thing. Freestyle, I do that all day. That's the first one you learn, okay? No problem. I can do that. Bomb, bomb. Turn aside. Breathe. You got it. The thing is, everybody good at that one. So... Of course, I'm not winning any races because just that I can do it isn't enough, okay? You got to be fast. I remember one time it was a night meet and they let me swim the 50 freestyle and I got down there and they were cheering me and I, I mean, obviously, I'm just in it. There's just bubbles and froth everywhere. I'm going. I get to the end and I hear my coach being like, you're winning. And I was like, really? But by the time I got back, I had not been winning anymore. I don't know if my kickflip was off or if I just got psyched out. I probably got tired. Freestyle. It's a no-go, okay, because everybody can do that better than me. Backstroke, backstroke not too hard. You know, it's hard to go straight backstroke. I don't know how people do it. I just crash into the side. But I would backstroke into those joints and slap them, mess up my knuckles. I wasn't hitting people, but I was not winning no races, okay. Now, breaststroke, I'll do that all day. I do breaststroke like crazy. Breaststroke is the easy one, okay. That one feels like you're not even exercising. I could not excel at that. I could do it, but not fast. Then you got the butterfly. What y'all know about the butterfly? The butterfly is majestic. Okay, I've seen people do the butterfly in the Olympics, people who know how to do this joint, and obviously, they glide out of the water like some sort of aqua-human hybrid. It's like a dolphin man flying out the water. Boom, your arm's coming over, and then your leg's doing that double kick, ba-boom. That double kick is clutch, okay? Also, I can't do it. I can't do the double kick. Really, I can't do the butterfly at all. I've seen people do it. I know how it's supposed to look, but my body doesn't do that, okay? I, especially in the fifth grade. I don't know if I was too focused on the bright green. I don't know if I just ha didn't have the right coordination yet, uh, but I could not do it, okay? I could not do the butterfly. Cut to is the swim meet. Now, obviously, they're not asking me to do any of the races. Do they want to ask me to do the freestyle? Of course not. They got somebody who can swim that faster than me. Backstroke, they don't want me crashing into the opposing team, looking like a fool. So they say, Christian, you're gonna, be, you're gonna swim on the relay. You're gonna be on the relay team. Fine, 
dude, you know, I'll just let three people down, but that's okay. What do y'all want me to swim? You want me to get the breaststroke? They're like, no, we got somebody who can do that. We want you to swim the butterfly. The last leg of the four person relay. You just gotta go down and you gotta come back. Guys, I can't do the butterfly though. They're like, no, you can do it. It's just, you know, we've done it in practice. Have y'all seen me in practice? I can't do it. Okay, I, do, I, I can't. I'm just telling you. And they're like, Christian, this is your time to shine. And I'm like, you know what, coach, I'm gonna believe you instead of myself. Maybe this was the moment when I learned to trust myself because I knew I couldn't do that joint. But my coach said, go for it. Here I am, send me. I don't remember if our team was winning or not. You know, I'm sure we got off to a good start. Breaststroke, up and down, backstroke. That dude sucked at backstroke too. I'm like, well, I could have done as good as him. He gets back, we're not winning, but you know, we're probably not last. It's my time to shine. Boom, he touches it. Boom, I'm off the starting block. I hit the water, pretty glorious, you know? You're just, you're just coasting along the water there, kicking a little bit, arms out in front, head down. It was like a streak of bright green Speedo running through the water. Those first few meters went great. Then it came time for me to engage in the stroke. So I start doing this, like this, you know? Hard as I can, like some sort of berserker orangutan just coming at you, except I wasn't moving. I was stagnant in the water. Almost I was moving backwards. Also, my body didn't stay horizontal. I kind of got like perpendicular to the ground. And so I'm just like this, okay? In the water, making a splash, getting nowhere. That double kick, it ain't happening. Now, of course, I realize this isn't going well. <laughs> Obviously, it's very obvious to me that I'm not moving, okay? But it's the rules in swim meet. You can't swim a different stroke, okay? If you switch it up, you're disqualified. But on the other hand, if you don't make it, so what am I gonna do? So I'm like, I'm like trying to throw other strokes in there. Like, like I'll do this and then a little sidekick. Like, and then just try to push myself, lurching forward as much as I can. I'm like, lurching forward. Okay, no double kick is happening. I'm also, I'm, I'm just sometimes I'll do a little kick, 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 and then pretend it was a double. I'm so ashamed. Okay, I get to the end of the pool. Now I'm supposed to swim back. But I get to the end and I look around and the race is so long over. <sighs> Obviously, I'm more tired than I should be. I get to the end, I touch the box, and I look around and parents are looking away. They're like, oh, this poor child. Uh, my mom wasn't there. Nobody that know me was there. Whoever made me join the swim team, not there, okay? Uh, and I guess that's probably good because they don't need to see this. Nobody should have seen it. People were looking away. Avert your eyes from this tragedy. I look back over my shoulder, like, y'all want me to swim back? And it, no, I can tell the race is over. Everybody pretty much done. I just climb out full of shame. Bright green Speedo, pale white skin, in the noonday sun. And I just left. You know what, Christian, if you're not gonna be able to swim back, you might as well just, you don't need to come back, okay? You can find your own way home, I think. I was like, yeah, that seems fair. What would my life have been? Could I have swam the butterfly? We'll never know, okay? Because I can't do it. I couldn't do it then, and I can't do it now. To this day, if I watch swimming on TV, if I watch like the Olympics, or even if I'm just at a pool and people are swimming, I have this little bit of shame inside, okay? This little, this little ball of shame that sometimes blossoms out and, I can, and I can, it shows itself to me and it's because my body remembers what it was like to look like I was drowning, fifth grader, speedo sinking to the bottom of the pool trying to stay afloat with some whack butterfly. Y'all can have the butterfly, okay? I never wanted it. And I, and I never got it. That's my swim team story.